Uh, predictive analytics is an absolutely fascinating area. It's a fascinating industry, but it's one of those areas that is really not fully understood. And this is, I think, one of the most important pictures in the history of humankind, which is a weird thing to say. Now, what predictive analytics is, is it's understanding the future. It's being able to discern what is going to happen before it happens. It's being able to say with a statistical degree of certainty, what is what is going to happen, what is going to occur when certain events happen. Now, the picture behind me doesn't really look impressive. It doesn't. But this is a, photo or a map drawn over 300 years ago. This is the first instance of predictive analytics in history. And this was from a, uh, well, a statistician doctor that lived in London. This mapped cholera. This is the first known geographic uh, map or geographic data map ever made, where a doctor who lived in London identified a widespread outbreak. And this was cholera and it was killing so many people. And there was no real identifiable reason why. What was happening? What was killing all these people? How is it spreading so fast? And having to deal with constant death, he set out to do something different. So he went through the streets of London, one after another, checking on every single house, asking how many people had passed away in the last week, last month, last three months. And he started plotting this data out. He started adding it to a map. Now, the reason he did this is he wanted to have a better understanding of what we call the hidden layer. So it's the unseen truth, what is happening in the background that from an outset perspective, when you first see something, you're not going to comprehend. Well, he used this data. This data he collected just from going door to door, collecting just responses from people to track down the source of the worst cholera outbreak in Britain's history. And it tra tracked back to a single water pump installed by a local church to help the poor get access to fresh water. The water source had been tainted. This was a water source that had been used for literally years or decades and had not had any problems And when cholera started to break out everywhere, it was from a tainted water supply. Now, this is something that the government had not been able to identify, people had not been able to identify. There was no way that back 300 years ago, you could look at water that was clear and clean looking and say, this is the obviously the source of where disease comes from. And this is what predictive analytics is. It is understanding the past, it is understanding the present, so we can understand the future. So as we have businesses and organizations as we try to evolve our companies. It's understanding what we can do different to take our companies further, to take our businesses further. And that's what we're doing here. And that's what the Predictive Analytics program is about. Now, this is a two semester program that's really geared towards people with backgrounds in uh, mathematics, computer science, or even development. And one of the reasons why I like this program so much, I like this career path so much, is that there is a massive gap in industry for qualified professionals, that for people that understand the intrinsic nature or the overlapping nature of business and technology and data. And this is where you come into play. So if you've gone through school before and you went through for data analytics or database management or software development, this is a fantastic career pathway where we don't see a lot of schools across Canada really, really honing in on this topic. But demand in industry is skyrocketing. This is a constant demand, a constant need, because this is how we evolve our companies and evolve our businesses. Now, when I do refer to this, I do talk about this concept, what we're looking at is breaking down the different inputs, the different data sets, the different variables, and trying to figure out how to model data. In other words, building a pathway for data understanding, building a pathway to really represent all the different factors that come into play that will shape our companies. And this is what really makes this field fun because this is not something that, sorry, just fix the video, not something that we can easily uh, like outsource outside of the company. This is not something we can automate. This is not something that we can hand over to artificial intelligence machines yet. So what ends up happening here is we have a career that is extremely well insulated against industrial change, against societal change, and one that is constantly growing because businesses are desperate for this. So it doesn't matter what industry you're in, it doesn't matter what part of life you're looking at, everything is touched by 
predictive analytics. And yet this is one of the most underutilized fields in terms of people going into college university, which gives you an opportunity. This means that there is a field out there that is highly lucrative. It is very well paying. It is extremely safe. It is very, very resistant to things like um, economic downturns towards uh, recessions, just because the worst uh, country is doing the worst uh, the world is doing, the better predictive analytics does, because we need to predict and adapt to change before it happens. So we help to lead companies. We help to lead and make decisions. We provide the information, the models, the knowledge that is required so that the executives can make the proper decisions on a business level to change the trajectory of a company. And that's what predictive analytics is about. Now, there are tons of different graphics and tons of different data models that we produce. So yes, uh, if you're going to join this program, be a math nerd, embrace your math. It is amazing. It is awesome. Don't worry, we use a lot of different tools to help us out with the mathematics because there are so many different ways to understand how to represent data and how this is going to impact a company that we really have to be able to be able to see the need of a company, the need of a people to be able to evolve and adapt and change. So here, no, you don't have to be the world's best mathematician, but you do have to have an understanding. You do have to have a respect for mathematics. I'm just going to move my head out of the way there. So what this is about, what our program is about, is identifying need, first and foremost. So right up there, it's identifying business needs, identifying the need of people. It's about preparing data. And this is where we get into things like uh, database management, working with data lakes, data warehouses, how we format and create data architecture, how we are going to build an advanced data model. So in other words, how we're going to go through and organize this data, parse it, create a clean data set that we can utilize to predict the future. This is how we train machines. So this is machine learning. This is how we train software and systems to start building statistical models that will predict the future and lay it out in front of us. And then how we approach our executive team to integrate this change, to change the direction of our company. So coming in here, yes, you're going to do a lot of things. Uh, First and foremost, we're about developing change. We're about developing systems of change. So when we talk about system solution, if you're a developer, then you're looking at the uh, programming side using R and Python. If you're looking at the mathematical side, this is about building a data model that can show us trends and patterns of these hidden layers, things that we cannot perceive from the just outset. But this is all about how we drive change. So if you are coming from a computer science background, computer engineering background, or a mathematics background, this is fantastic for you. Um, as is if you're coming from a data, so a data-based data analyst uh, background, this is a fantastic pathway. Because this is an in-demand uh, career path that we see growing more and more. And it doesn't matter what industry you're, you love. If you love uh, avionics, if you love insurance, if you love the banking industry, it doesn't matter. They all need people in this field. And this is, again, a field that is very, very in need of people. So this is why I think you should consider predictive analytics. If this is fascinating to you, if you want to be able to tell the future, if you want to predict how things are going to change, things are going to grow, and things are going to get better or worse, and how to change a multi-billion dollar corporation's roadmap for the next 20 years, that is what predictive analytics is. Now, this is an eight-month program, so this is really, really geared to get you into the field right away. And one of the kind of interesting things about this, too, is you might be sitting there and saying, well, in eight months, can I predict the future? And well, yes, to a degree. But what's more important is this actually has a really strong career pathway. So starting off into this field, you can start off at a more base level. So data analyst, data architect, big data analyst, business intelligence developers, these are all, again, in high demand jobs, they're lucrative jobs, and there are lots of them out there. This is something that we have struggled as a country to fill positions for, because there's just simply not enough people going out into the field that have both mathematical and computer data skills. But as you go forward, you might say to yourself, well, you know, I'm less on the programming side. Like, I like math. I like data. But programming is not my thing. But well, we have entire career pathways just for that. These are efficiency experts, project managers, statisticians, and quantitative anal uh, analysts. Uh, so you don't have to dedicate yourself 100% just to towards development. And this is 
one of the biggest fallacies that we do see for people trying to understand what predictive analytics is. There are multiple different pathways, multiple different uh, branching trajectories you can take with this career. And that's what makes it so exciting. So this is why I, I really do encourage you, take a look at predictive, predictive analytics. Start delving through and start looking at some of the use cases out there about how we've leveraged this to change the trajectory of a country, the trajectory of a business, and how we've sought to make change in general throughout the world. So if you like being able to predict the future, this is a great program for you. It's fun, it's exciting, it's a little bit crazy. So if you are an abstract thinker, a critical thinking thinker, you like thinking outside the box and always asking questions, then this is an exciting pathway for you. And I really do recommend that this is something you should look into. Thank you.